Guys and welcome to today's Kavara 12 video. So today I want to show you a strategy um, which my guild mate Nathatex showed me. So it uses Mazaka and I've got Mazaka here at level 1 with no awakens and no gear and he trivializes this fight. He's so good for a low barrier, low entry team, you know, very cost effective. So if, yeah, I want, I want to show you this, the strategy where I use him. So to make this team work, you want to bring Muzaka and you want to make him stay alive until the boss. That is the key to this strategy. So you've got to get him past the mobs. So you can do that by using an AoE taunt. If you have one, that'll make it super easy. And you could do it by resing him when there's one mob left with Kun, for example. Um, or you could level him up. Uh, I've got a friend who does him at level 40. Uh, so if he gets at level 40 or 50 and give him you know, some HP gear, that should get him through, especially if you have a healer. So yeah, a um, few ways to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, I'm gonna use Yuri myself because she's the best taunter I've got handy. So I'm gonna put her in slot three. I'm gonna bring Jahad Mira for damage because I've got those levels. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring, I guess Machene would be good. In fact, yeah, we'll bring Machene. Machene sounds good. Okay, so. And then you'll also notice I'm bringing Kun Idan at level 70. So I like him a lot, and I'd like to share one of his abilities with you as well. Because, you know, why not? Why not get um, a few pieces of information in this video, right? So, here we go. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to get a C3 for your Muzaka ready to go. You only need the one. One will do it. So, yeah, that's, that's basically all you need to do. Uh, other than that, just kill the mobs. It doesn't matter how you do it, just get them dead and make sure you stay alive. So yeah, that should be a good start. He's one of his as well. So, you'll notice Kun Idan has a shield at the moment. Uh, his shield is coming from his protection set. So you'll see why that's cool in a moment. So I'll just get this turn out of the way. And it looks like they've all been taunted, so it should be quite a smooth run. Okay, so now turn two, you'll notice all of my characters, if you click him for example, have a shield. Um, so this is really cool because what Kun Idan does is he has a passive which says here, he regenerates slash duplicates one buff effect that is applied on the hero to all other heroes at the start of every turn apart from the first turn. Now because he's got a protection set and the first turn has passed, he's given a shield to everybody. The shield lasts for two turns so that, that's the level, that's the duration of the buff it doesn't matter that he's only got one turn left on it because you can see he's, you can see he's got one turn on it if you, if you zoom in so you can't see the turns but it, he has one turn left on but everybody else has two it's because he always gives the maximum duration of any buff and I think that's super cool so yeah cool so now I've got um, the C3 ready for Muzaka which is all I need for this fight. And then the rest of this should be super easy. And if Yuri dies, you know, I don't even care. As long as... As long as, um, as, long as my level 1 survives. And like I said, to make, this e to make this easier on yourself, and you can make this a lot easier, you can level Muzaka up. That would make it easier. You could also bring a healer. That would make it easier. Um, but, you know, I, I want to... I want to make this as hard as possible for myself to show you guys that this is doable. Okay, so Yuri's dead, but all good because so is the enemy. Cool, so now we're on to Kavara. So now what you want to do is use the C3 and then you can use whatever else you want. So I'm just going to spam some moves together here. I'll just stick that out. Um, yeah, there we go. So. What his C3 does is it thwarts an attack. It's n thwart isn't a debuff. You can't extend it. You don't need cases to do it. It just thwarts the enemy for one turn. Now the boss's one turn lasts for like quite some time. It lasts until his next C3. So as you can see here, so let's get that ready again. But you don't have to worry about getting his C3 ready that much. Like if you've seen my previous video with um, God Killer Zero, where I use Case here to extend the Confusion debuff. You don't need to do any of that. All you need to do is fought once, and then you just wail on the boss, okay? Okay, so until the C3 comes around again, 
and you don't use you use the C3 after the boss is attacked. So it doesn't even matter when you do it. So you can do it like so for example let's uh let's just use some of this here. And then use that in the middle, just because why not? And as long as no in fact you need to use it here to be safe. You want to use it just after he uses his C3. Okay. So watch what happens now. Okay, so now the boss doesn't do anything because he's forced for one turn still. Because that one turn cancels un until now. So now he's just not going to attack again. His counter attack is just not going to work. And you can just go ahead and keep attacking the boss again. So I'll get that C3 ready. Don't need it for ages. And I can just go ahead and uh, start wailing on the boss again. Might use some mana up there actually. So yeah, because I deal with accuracy, you don't need it. Um, you don't need a healer, you don't need anything. Like this this is the easiest method I've seen to kill this boss. I can just go ahead and... Like, I'm not even looking at what abilities I'm doing here, I'm just... I'm just doing it. So yeah, um, wait until the CFP comes around again and we'll use his fort after the boss again. Okay. Now uh, I could need down as well. I'll go over his skill a little bit more in, more in detail in a moment. Just, uh... Okay, so here we go. He's using the C3 again. So what I'm going to do is use the C3 after the boss again. Because if you use it before the boss, his next C3 will hit, so we'll just use it after it. Because that is that is thwarted. So yeah, that's uh that's great. So yeah, with uh Kunt Edam, so his uh passive ability, he will at the start of every turn, he shares a buff with the entire team, which he has. Like he'll duplicate it. So just to tell you how that works in a little bit more detail. Because I, I found this out recently and I think he's I think he's a really cool hero. So if you've got let's use um arms for example um or in fact yeah we'll go with arms. Arms gives a 30% attack buff for three turns. Or I think that's what it is. Yeah I think it's a 30% attack buff for three turns. But regardless what Kun will do um is at the start of his next turn he'll have two turns left on his attack buff but he will give a free turn buff to everyone because it's a free turn buff and then the next turn his buff will go down to a one turn buff but he'll duplicate that buff on everybody else and give them a new uh, free turn buff which basically gives makes a free turn buff into a five turn buff because turn one when he has the buff at three buffs he'll replicate it to everyone which they already have free, uh, they already have a free turn buff Turn two, he'll have a two turn buff, but it'll give everyone a three turn buff. And then turn oh, one, one turn. So and, and the last, like I said, the last turn when he has it, when he has a one turn buff, he'll still give everyone a three turn buff because it's the base buff that he shares. And I think that's fantastic because that works for like Choco BB's buff, but it would work for the uh, protection set. So protection set, for example, turn two, he's only got one turn left on his protection sh set shield but he gives everyone a two turn protection set. So in PvP, for example, you would have a two turn HP shield for everybody from turn two. So that means you're going into turn three with a HP shield. That's, I mean, that sounds awesome, guys. But anyway, um, back to the strategy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kamara's dead. Easy as that. And I'll, uh, I'll show you my, uh, I'll show you my, I'll, show, I'll just show you the character dead quick as well. So let's go ahead and, uh, Go to the MVP here. So Mazaka is here somewhere. It's way down here because it's level one. So I only pulled on the Noblesse banner once. Uh, I added one multi, that's all I did. Um, and I got him first. First pull. He's only an S rank. So pretty lucky there. Um, but yeah. Can't find him. Cannot find him. There he is. So 
here just to show you. You can see no gear, <laughs> no awakens. Um, but yeah, it's just his C3. His C3, attacks the opponent with the highest HP, inflicts positional damage, and thwarts the opponent for one time. It's fantastic, fantastic character. And then just to show you the cunt you done, which I was showing you earlier, just because he's in this video, uh, he is here. So his ability that I was using is here. Um, it's his awakening ability, number two. Regenerates slash duplicates one buff of vets that is applied on the hero to all of the hero allies at the start of every turn. First turn excluded, which is why, yeah, I showed you on the second turn. But yeah, um, I hope that was an interesting video for you guys and it will help you to grind Kavara 12. Um, yeah, super legit team. Hope that was helpful. Take care all.